Go Nichiwa, I mean it's Jisakuri, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PS4 game. Alright. So, I guess I have a little bit more to do before I just start recording. Oh well. <sighs> Still downloading to go. Hmm. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, this right here is the newest edition of Street Fighter 5. And of course, Street Fighter 5, a champion edition. So what exactly is this? Well, this right here is a disc-based version of the game that includes, I want to say, season 1 through 3 on here. I could be wrong. I think that's what it is, season 1 through 3. That's why I think it is included. So, with this disc based one, um, we have f all 40 characters, we have all stages, we have the costumes, we actually have the, um, the um, story mode, single player mode, all that jazz is actually on this uh, disc. <clears throat> and yes, I did check the uh, information about the game. It even says disc version when you're looking at the uh, add-on. So it is practically all on the disc. And it takes about, still about 42 gigs. Yeah, 43 gigs minimal. And two players offline, up to eight players online. All that yada 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 jazz. Okay. So, really excited to have this because I bought the uh, original game when it came out. And it had nothing. <laughs> And with even uh, several characters that were missing, yet with other characters that weren't missing, and it kind of, um, in my opinion, really hurt the game. Because of, yeah. I know that we were already uh, ready for something like this to happen, but staple characters that have been in the series, um, in like every crossover possible, were actually missing. Which was very weird. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go ahead and look out to see exactly what it comes to. Alright, as always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing a game of version of Ah, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been. Started and away we go. Fight request off. Thank you. Do not want to play against anybody online. Okay, as you can see, I have zero points because I do not play online. Due to the fact that I am not very good. And I only had the base characters. It was horrible. It's like, no. See, the reason why I'm known as T. Sakura is because my favorite character is Sakura Kasagano. That is what I love. She is amazing, wonderful character, and I don't know why she doesn't have her own movie yet. Uh, instead of just being kind of a background character. Anyway, um, you have that, and then, um, yeah, it was just, it was really surprising that we did not get her as a playable character from day one, yet we got Karen, her arch rival. Yeah, so we got, let's see, we got, and all this is actually on the disc. You know, there's only a few things that are not there. So, let's see. I don't know if I want to go to Arcade. So, Arcade. These are pretty fun. I love how they do this. They actually um, only allow characters that were in the certain series type thing. Or it focuses on the actual uh, Arcade. Um, there it is. So, actually pretty cool. And really like it. And uh, difficulty normal. I'm gonna re regret this. I know. But I like how we have all that stuff included on the disc. And oh no, yeah, I see. I probably shouldn't have done this when I wanted to show all the characters. So we're going back out. Because that's not worth actually doing. We'll go to the Street Fighter V. Of 
But yeah, uh, in case you guys haven't actually played this one because you've been waiting to actually get everybody together, they have a, a lot of amazing ones. So here's all the characters. So you go, and this is everything that's included on this version of the game. So we got Ryu, we got Chun Li, we got Mika, Rash, uh, Rashind, who's one of the new characters. Alex is here, Akuma, uh, Minette, who's another new character, Falki. I think new character. Don't really know. Cage definitely new character. Gil, somebody that did not need to come back or even show his face ever again in a Street Fighter game because he's overpowered and very bad memories going against him. Honda's in here. G. I guess it's a new character. I don't know that recognize this one. Hmm. With gold uh, tattoos that move. Okay. And here she is, Sakura. Great to have her back. I don't know why she was not included in the first thing. Head is a new character. He's a bison character. Jury is here. We got Ibiki, which is great. And her hair is attacking her. Look at that. <laughs> okay, that's definitely was a new character. Zonguff. Karen. Nash. It's always fun to have Nash back, you know. Go and Bison. We got Birdie, who's now old and fat. Dazim. Fang, he's a new character. Balrog. We got Yorin, new character. I don't recognize him. He looks like something from Tekken, honestly. That's awesome. We got Blanca. We got Sagat. Lucia. I guess according to what we saw, she's part of Street Fighter 1. Hmm. I don't know. Seth is back as a girl this time. Okay. Poison. Always one of those weird characters. Uh, it was a back character, if you will. If it gets into the game. But I'm happy to see that she's actually made her way in. Cody, who's now a businessman. Oh, okay. Zeku. New character. Colin, new character. Guile. Don't know why they didn't have him in here. This guy. Vega. Cammy and Ken. Well, let's go ahead. And then the best part is we have um, a ton. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Of costumes included. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do good at all. Supported by. Yeah, see. Championship Edition. Oh, I forgot to mention that the game actually does come with a code that allows you to uh, get this included. Or if you want to give it to a friend who only has Street Fighter V, you can give it to them. So if I were to use Street Fighter V, my regular disc, I would now have it included. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited to finally have the one character I actually like using in Street Fighter to where I'm not just limited to a bunch of brand new characters.
Nice. Oh, I didn't realize they gave her her diagonal Hadalkin. That's nice. I like that they did the whole uh, aging um, in this. Just because I think it's a nice way to show progression in the story, which we really haven't had a whole lot of. Because <laughs> everybody stayed the same age practically, you know, throughout the whole thing. Ring of Destiny, okay. Yay, over 200 customers. Yay. Nice. As you can tell, I'm not very good at fighting at all. Don't judge me. I enjoy the game. That's why I don't play online. I just have a little bit more. <sighs> Darn, don't have enough time to go on to the next one. Alright, well, we'll leave it there. So, in all... The thing that makes me very happy about this game is that it comes with basically everything included. Um, due to the fact that I pre-ordered it, I also got a code from Amazon that gave me all the additional colors, which I guess were no was the only thing that wasn't included. I, I mean, are the uh, the newest color set that was released before this game came out. So. This makes me happy because it's a game that, when I got it, I was very excited. I was like, yay, a new Street Fighter game. This is going to be amazing. we got all these new characters. we got amazing new things to try out. Have fun with. Pop it in. <laughs> you know, so many hours later, it finally downloads. Yay, I get to play. I get to do my first 10-minute first impression. Yay. Go in there and there's like practically nothing there. I'm like, um, okay. I mean, I really enjoyed the um, the demo. Got to do the demo to my first version. I don't do those very often just because I like waiting until the game comes out and enjoying it. But it was one I had to do. Get the game, put it in, and nothing. It felt like the demo. I mean, that's exactly how it felt. The demo only had, I think, four characters to choose from. Main game eight characters to choose from or something like that it was eight or twelve i forget but an abysmal selection to where you're just kind of like what the crap happened <clears throat> then eventually it's like i literally just put the game down me and my brother would play it every so often we got bored with it quickly just because we didn't have anything really to do in the game then we uh finally you know they came out with everything else and we finally got all the other stuff and it's like by that time, I was like, hmm, okay, I'll go play Street Fighter 4, <laughs> or I'll go play Street Fighter the movie, the game, you know, I'll go play any other Street Fighter besides Street Fighter 5 at the time, because everything was locked behind a in-game currency system or paying real cash to unlock everything else. Now, given 
extra costumes, extra colors, extra stages, new fighters, um, additional fighters. Makes sense. That's what happens in games like these nowadays. It sucks, but what can you do? However, they had so much nor there when the game came out that it made the game abysmal. Because there was nothing to do. Going to arcade mode, well, we didn't even really have arcade mode, I don't think. I think it was strictly multiplayer and then some functions online, I think it was. It's been a while. A long while. And that's what happened. You're just sitting there like, hmm. Then Arcade Edition came out, which included, I think, uh, Season 1 and 2, and had everything on the disc that they gave to us for free. And then it's like, okay, I'm not spending my money on this one. Because uh, Sakura was not on the disc. I mean, literally, that was the main reason why I did not pick up uh, Arcade, is that she was not on there, and it's like, not worth my, not worth my time. The character you guys said, you know, that we were hoping and should be there was not there. This edition comes out. She's on it. Guess why I picked it up. Now, given, yes, I will definitely pick up Arcade now just to have uh, that in the collection because that's going to be the three uh, physical releases of the game. But it just really made me mad to see that essential characters were not included. And like I said... Sakura has been in every single uh, Street Fighter game after a certain point. She was in Street Fighter 4. Um, she was in uh, Rival School. I, I, um, now, yes, that's not a Street Fighter game per se, but it's in the universe. Um, in each of the crossovers, Street Fighter vs. Tekken, um, Marvel vs. Capcom, uh... Marvel vs. SNK. She was in each of them. I think if she was, she's even in the uh, um, Capcom vs. Uh, the Tasunaki. I think it's... I probably just butchered that. I do apologize. Game as well. But that's the whole thing. Is that Sakura has been in a lot of the games because she was an instant favorite character due to her bubbly attitude and how she just... One's a very fun character to use. And her backstory is a lot of fun. So you have all that going on, and then all of a sudden, the new game comes out. She's missing. I look at it as when uh, King of the Fighters came out with one edition, and they took Mai out. Mai was completely missing from the game. And when I saw that, the game basically became useless to me, because they took out an essential character, and now the team that... I like to use a lot. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm losing my voice today. Didn't have the character that I needed to be able to play the team that I usually use. I think even Joe um, was missing as well in that one, which really ticked me off as well because it's another character I really like to use. And then all of a sudden, you have all these other King of the Fighter characters that were put in there um, in the tournament, and you're just like, oh, well, that's cool. I don't know who this character is, but I've seen him before in previous uh, games. And they had, like, I think they only had, like, pff, like 20 characters or something in the game. It, in my opinion, ruined the game. Because all of a sudden, it's like, this is what we're used to. Why, why would you do that? Type style. So, that's why I picked this game up, is because I've been waiting to be able to pick her up without having to spend... 30, 40 bucks per season to get everything because I didn't want to do that. Since I'm not, I'm in no way good at playing online and because I don't play online on Street Fighter or any of the fighting games anymore due to the fact that I'm horrible, I can't earn any of the in-game currency enough to actually uh, buy the characters at a decent pace. And fighting games are something I like to enjoy periodically or with my brother. So it's not something I'm going to go out of my way to 100% focus on all the time. And since I don't hunt trophies as much as I used to, it's not something I'm going to go out of my way to really focus on when I got other games that are the gens I'd rather spend my time on earning trophies for 
and playing more of due to the fact. I think that's the best way to explain it. So the question for you guys is, for this video, do you guys feel that whenever a company makes a roster decision contrary to what the last 11, you know, or even the last five games have been, do you think those bad roster decisions really hurt the franchise? Or gives us a new take on the game with it missing the characters? <clears throat> That's a good question to ask because some I know some people who like certain characters when this game came out, uh, the original version, people were like, Yes! Karen's in the game! And we're really excited that they get to play as Karen. Due to the fact that, you know, they might not like Sakura, but they like Karen instead because of how annoyingly funny she is that she has to defeat Sakura and usually loses most of the time. <laughs> so, you know, I'd like to hear you guys' opinion on that. Uh, I've already kind of explained what I felt about it. That's just my personal opinion. And when I really think about it, uh, about how that question was uh, formed... In my opinion, yes, I think it could really hurt a series, due to the fact that if, like I say, if you have staple characters that have been in the game or crossovers or RPGs or whatever, you know, whatever um, games came prior, it's a very bad decision to pull those iconic characters out of there. You know, if you have, let's say five characters or six characters that are a staple character and when you pull them out just trying to go okay guys here's this version of the game we're going to pull these particular uh staple characters out because we felt that these characters weren't getting enough love and we'd like to bring them in and then they give us the game and then everybody's just kind of like um okay now, like a good example of it working, in my opinion, would be Street Fighter 3. In Street Fighter 3, um, you know, they didn't really bring in a lot of characters from Alpha, if any, to be honest. I don't, I don't remember there being a lot of characters from Alpha in there. And uh, really, there was only a few characters from the main Street Fighter series that they brought in due to the fact that their storyline coexist with what the story they were telling in Street Fighter 3. So we had, you know, Ryu, Chun-Li, Ken, and a couple of the other characters. <clears throat> you know, but we were missing some of the other characters that became popular due to the Street Fighter uh, because of Al the Alpha series. And, of course, with the EX series, they couldn't do it because they didn't own the rights to those characters. But, you know, you had several other games that were out at the time, which with very popular characters that did not um, go into the main storyline that they were trying to tell through the Street Fighter series. And uh, in my opinion, I think it worked because of what the story they were telling. Now, when it comes to a game, especially like King of the Fighters, that is a uh, battle royale, you know, a, a tournament of the fighting games of that company and you take out people who have been in it for a long time that's a bad idea so in street fighter because several characters have come over to the main universe from alpha from the other series i think it was a bad idea to exclude them from the first go just to add in um i think it was like six new characters and six um, already existing characters something like that it's been a while. So that's what my personal opinion is. Is that it's always important to keep the main, you know, that main uh, six characters that you always want to put in your games because the fans demand it. And not to do all of a sudden like, well, in this storyline, um, given I could see how the story, if they were going, like, well, Sakura had to take a break as she's going to college. And now that she has a, some time, she's back into fighting. It's like, you know, something like that, but it wouldn't, uh, I don't know. It, 
It's hard to explain. But anyway, that's what I would personally think is that you got to be very careful about it. And you better have a story explaining why certain characters are not there. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. This was really fun to see exactly what they included on the disc. Um, it does still take a while to install. But you can go in the game and at least play a little uh, while the rest of the game is installing. So that's a good part. That there isn't a huge, you know, three hour download or whatever, which makes it wonderful. So, really happy to have this edition and with everything included. And the best part is $30 plus tax, you know. So, very good. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me semi do good. <laughs> this is T Secure saying ciao and sayonara.